Thank you, President Kerwin. I feel tremendous pride as I look out at the audience on the floor of this arena, and I feel tremendous gratitude as I gaze up at your families. Graduates, when you decided to join the School of International Service for your bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree, you conveyed your trust in the scholars, staff, and administrators of SIS that we would help you fulfill your goals as a student at this school. In turn, we placed our trust in you, that you would perform to the best of your ability inside and outside of the classroom, and represent the School of International Service well in all of your endeavors, from internships in Washington to capstone programs in Africa and the Middle East, from research projects across Latin America to study abroad in every region of the world, except Antarctica. <laughs> Some of you were in the SIS atrium last August to hear President Barack Obama speak to the nation about the Iran nuclear deal. Others of you were in the audience this spring asking questions when we hosted Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, and Malaysian Deputy Prime Minister Ahmad Zahid Hamidi. These world leaders came to SIS because they wanted to engage with our students. Indeed, as I am fond of saying, our students show well. As faculty, staff, and administrators, we cannot help but feel an enormous sense of pride for your successes and anticipation for your future achievements. We were honored this year that once again, American University was the number one school in the country in producing presidential management fellows to work in the United States government. AU was again the top producer of Boren fellowships and scholarships to study less commonly taught languages overseas. AU is number two for universities its size in sending its graduates into the Peace Corps and was recognized once again as a top producer of Fulbright scholars. Founded in 1957 through a call by President Dwight Eisenhower to wage peace, SIS proudly prepares our graduates for global service in government, nonprofits, and business. We do this because we believe the world needs leaders willing to serve, perhaps now more than ever. Joining us today are the thousands of family and friends who could be here, and many more who are watching this commencement online. These are the most important people in your lives. They've helped you along the way and through the many years of schooling that brought you to this moment. Today, we not only celebrate your achievements, we also thank your family and friends for their support. And particularly on this Mother's Day weekend, I ask all the mothers, stepmothers, grandmothers, and anyone else who feels maternal toward our 2016 graduates to please rise and be recognized for all you've done to make this day possible. We also take this opportunity to express our gratitude to those who worked with you here at SIS. You were assisted by our dedicated staff, including our terrific academic and career advisors and our program coordinators. And leading you along your journey were your professors, the cornerstone of this school, and the reason we are among the most highly ranked schools of international affairs in the world. In addition to their teaching, office hours, grading, and advising students. They are leaders in their fields. You have been fortunate to learn from top practitioners, such as Shrach Gregorian, one of, the founding pro one of the founding program directors of the United States Institute of Peace, as well as former ambassadors such as Anthony Quainton and Sally Shelton Colby. You have taken classes with amazing junior faculty, including global health specialist Lauren Carruth and development expert Adam Auerbach. 
and you've benefited from the wisdom of award-winning tenured faculty like Ken Konka, a leading, a leading scholar of global environmental policy, and Christine Chin, who, whose work has explored the complexity of globalization. Our faculty conduct transformational research and have mentored you here at SIS. Today, you join more than 15,000 SIS alumni around the world who are leading through service every day. Here at the school, they serve as mentors to students, they support student scholarships, and they help our students find internships and jobs. We hope you will continue to stay connected with us as well. And like them, remember that service is not a moment, it's a mindset. I am excited to announce that this summer, we will launch the new School of International Service Office of Career Development with a career advisor specifically dedicated to our alumni so that we can support you for the rest of your careers. Yeah. Graduates, when you started here, we trusted that you would achieve great things during your time at the School of International Service. We believed you would go forward to think critically, build understanding, and wage peace in our world. And today, we trust that you will continue to make us proud as alumni. Congratulations.